five below. I love seeing this this van. This is the mix with Samson, which we've already found. Those are the reduced detail. I haven't really featured those on the channel yet. Sold the Fortune Black Ops back there. Another Black Ops. El Toro Loco with Lash. Oh, they're so nasty. Like these variants are disgusting. Mystery Mutters. Some matchboxes. Not too bad. Um, but let's see. Samson's right back there. And other than that, not really seeing too much. Yeah, it's all the same case, but still worth showing. Boy, I've never been in this Walmart before, but I, I come in and there is two Hot Wheels cases and boom, super. Didn't have this one. That one's beautiful. All right, I'm going to clean this up and leave. Part two of Walmart's I've not been to. Don't worry, they're not finding a super here as well. What I found here is old Hot Wheels monster trucks. Very interesting. They got a full case of these. Maybe they were lost in the back or something. I think I still need this Defender, actually. So, perfect opportunity to get that. The only place I've seen it lately is at pharmacies, and I'm not spending $6 on them. And then there's Bigfoot right there. That is very weird. Uh, there is no more. There's the only ones for those. Oh, wait. There is one more. The wool trash at all. Interesting. Very, very interesting. But kind of cool. I stopped off at this Publix half hour before they close and i'm so glad i did because i finally got this i needed one of these i missed out now i have everything in this case i just forgot this one when i found the whole case at walmart a couple months ago so check that out the gold series i know a lot of people like these so i'm glad i had one more chance to get this well guys here's a case that hardly saw the light of day a case of 2024 controls it looks to be all but um and a race ace wow I'm surprised that's even here that's ironic we just found one um, well, I had the duck and roll, the cage rattler, and the poppy trolls truck. I just need this invader and this beetle. So check that out. I know a lot of us have not found these yet, or in general. In this case, this may be the last time I see these trucks. I saw that at an auto zone a couple months ago, and I almost regretted getting it, or not getting it. But now I have one more chance to grab them. International cars, cool. Okay, I guess they're all just getting this case now. I guess what I found was nothing special because there's the race ace <laughs> again the three stores in a row the melon mauler no treasure hunt i don't know what the hunt would even be but there's none and yeah since i don't need a race ace i'm not getting it but i thought that's fun three stores in a row now has had it and back home guys there is the super treasure hunt that we found i mean you don't even have to collect these to appreciate that for one dollar at walmart guys i'm so happy to get that one and then we got some monster trucks it was a hot wheels monster trucks type of video i did get some new models for hot wheels this is like d and e case of 2024 aston martin dbs pontiac aztec the walter white car if you guys watch breaking bad i think that's the show because i don't watch it but on in the trunk right there you see walter white sunglasses and hat but i can't really show you guys i can't my fault but take my word for it it's back there so i think that's a cool little easter egg we got the fiat 5000 uh, modificado audi quattro civic custom cadillac hypercar land rover recolor that matchbox jeep the c case treasure hunt the tool again there's the logo the uh recolor for the uh, volvo xc40 the new silverado ev civic eg uh, mercedes 5 60 amg corvette stingray and the new ford super van so there's that now let's take a look at the hot wheels monster we got some interesting things to talk about so yes we found some new stuff at kroger and Publix. we found these two bad boys at kroger and then we found this thing at Publix. i want to take a look at the new race ace golden race ace what series is this a part of guys oh there it goes it says the champion crashers i don't know if that's the gold series but this thing is beautiful and this case really did not hit a lot around here it hit walmart a month or two ago never saw it afterwards so i'm glad it's hitting some of these other stores so i still had a chance to get it and then we find it at Publix, and then wegmans or maybe we've saw it at two kroger's i don't remember what we saw it three times and before that this night i haven't even seen it once so here it is guys let's take it out of the box That may have been the most difficult way I've ever opened a monster truck. That one did not want to come out. So here it is. Look at the gold flake in the paint. No wonder so many people want this. For a $4 truck, that paint is beautiful. You cannot go wrong with that paint job for $4. That's for sure. We have the gold tires and roll cage and then black wheels and black chassis. Very, very clean looking. I'll give you a little 360. There's the tailgate, the side, 
the top and oh my gosh no bad angle for that truck i will admit hot wheels moss trucks is killing it with that uh, uh gold series or whatever now i want to talk to you guys about this this is crazy and i want to say that um we found this new for 2022 land rover monster truck and i've seen this at a pharmacy like a year or so ago like cvs or something but they get old stock this was at walmart and they had a few more monster trucks from this set they have just gotten a fresh assortment of 2022 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. And then I went to another Walmart and I wish I would have recorded, but they also had 2022 Monster Trucks. It was a different case, but there was nothing I needed there. They had like the Drag Roger Dodger, the green one. I'll put a photo of it right there. That was one that pointed it out or stuck out to me that I can remember right now, but I cannot believe we found this. So this is the only truck I need from this series. I don't know why I didn't have it, but um, I just never saw, I saw it once, but I was not going to pay $6 for it at the pharmacy. This is a pretty cool color on it. So I guess let's take it out of the box. I, at least I don't think I have this. I shouldn't have this. If I do, this kind of sucks because now I should have just kept it in package if I do have it, but I don't think I do. So here it is. Obviously mud slung up all onto the truck. That is the uh, type of paint job it is. They do not do this anymore. I don't think the mud tread series or whatever. This is beyond mud treads. Mud treads is what they did for Hot Wheels Moss Trucks when there was only a little bit of mud on the tires. They have completely dipped the tires in brown. The wheels, the roll cage, and the chassis is all brown. And then mud slung up all over the truck. It says the fender on the hood with the Hot Wheels logo in black, red, and white. And then it says number 06 on the top. We see some shovels and chains on the rack on the roof. Some brown fenders on the side, plastic piece. And then it says uh, zero, zero, 00? Is that what that's supposed to be? I don't know. But it says the fender right there on the side as well. Pretty interesting, guys. Now, let's take a look at a case of 2024. This isn't all of the new trucks, but we kind of went over it briefly at the store. I told you guys the duck and roll was new. That one. The cage rattler, which we ended up getting in, I think, D case of 2024 with the rustic Bigfoot. So I do have that one. I actually didn't know it came out in this case first. The Invader and the Beatles, what we got. And then Poppy was another new one that I actually got at a grocery store back in January. So I'm good on that one and Duck and Roll. I got those the same night at the same place. Those three are re-releases. Not a bad case. I don't really like this Invader. I mean, I like pink and purple. But like, I just, I don't know. I don't really like the Invader casting, but we'll take a look at it still. All right, it actually has a flat paint job. I do like the colors. It's not the colors. In fact, this may be one of my more favorite Invader castings because of the colors, because I love the mint color on the roll cage and the mint uh, digital camo or whatever this is supposed to be with the purple and pink camo as well. It's just, I don't really like the Invader casting. It's just the tank on a monster truck body. I mean, it's a cool concept, but it, the the execution is kind of basic looking, but they do have missiles, as you can see right there. It is kind of cool. It is. It is definitely interesting. It's cool that they're trying it. Um, the, the roll cage is kind of cool. I don't know what it's supposed to look like it's made out of, but it's definitely not the average roll cage. I mean, you guys can see that. That's cool. It's like stringy looking. It's like tie. It's like rope. It looks like rope. That's like the look it's supposed to be going for. I don't really know. Uh, pink tires. And look at the caps on the wheels. I did not even realize that. That's like what Monster Vet has, where Monster Vet is like chrome. These are just black. But yeah, no wheels, just a, a cap on them, all four of them. And then a silver chassis, mint roll cage, not bad. And now let's take a look at the Beetle. I have seen this one before, saw it at O'Reilly's uh, a month or so ago, maybe two. Passed it up. Again, so expensive. The only time I would buy a Hot Wheels Monster Truck from an auto parts store when they're going to be really expensive is if it's like a treasure hunt or something that I need or whatever. But this, I saw it, I was like, oh cool, but I didn't get it. But now we have it, so let's take it out of the box. But honestly, so now that I'm trying to get all the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, I was wondering if I was going to collect them all at the beginning of the year, but I'm now deciding that I will. I still paid, I think, $5.99 or $4.99 for this truck, which I think is about how much it was at O'Reilly's. But you know what? I have a different mindset now as I did a month or two ago, and now I'm actually trying to get them all. So I do think now I have every single truck uh, this year all the way up to E-Case. I don't know what comes after E-Case, but I know I have up till then. We have an orange roll cage, a gray chassis, which I kind of like, kind of classy, white wheels, black tires. Pretty uh, simple looking, I like it. I love the checker flag on the fenders. Here is the rear. I love getting beetle castings. These ones do, do go pretty quickly. I love the chrome uh bumper rear bumper and front bumper both chrome painted headlights kind of what is in the headlights can you guys tell me what does that look like in the headlights uh i couldn't even tell you i think those are just supposed to look like headlights but they look funny it look like there's a face in them like an alien or something 
just pointing out all the easter eggs tonight guys uh, we have the orange windshield um and some cool little logos on the side 24 so um i actually am picking up this video guys a few days after um it was supposed to be up yesterday but unfortunately my dog of 12 years has uh passed away back in 2013 when i was first starting to make youtube videos on professionally as an eight-year-old just like doing whatever i made a video when he was a puppy it was just called my puppy samson i think i'm gonna make that video public in you know for him um, I love that dog and um, it's a funny video. My face is actually in it, but I'm also eight. I look a lot different now. I'm 19, gonna be 20 this year. He watched me grow up. You're gonna see him as a puppy. I saw him as my best friend. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Maybe I'll put it in the description if you guys wanna look for it. I'll probably put it down there and I will show you the overview of what we got today. So there's that. I cannot believe that we found 2022 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. I wonder if we're gonna see more old castings or cases pop up. That would be cool because I am missing a few. I'm not going to lie. Um, during like, I'd say 2022, I really did not try to get every single one. I was really not paying attention or staying up to tune with everything that was coming out at the time because there was a lot coming out back then and I could not keep up because I didn't have my license. So I would just get as much as I could. It just didn't work out all the time. So there's still a couple of things to be found for my collection too, even though I really have a lot. But with that said, gotta collect them all when you collect these guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and of course, subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.